Hi guys, welcome back to you, me and the family or if you are new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four ranging from 15 years down to a two-year-old and we live as a family of six in the southeast of England. Today, I have an absolute massive home bargains haul for you. This is the most I've ever spent in home bargains. It doesn't all fit on my table. I've got to do this in two showings. But I wanted to record it because it's in preparation for Steve's birthday, which is a couple of days. And then Haley's, which is a couple of days after. And both these kids <laughs> have requested sweetie cakes as well as Haley wants some sweets taken for her friends. And then there's some birthday bits and birthday decorations as well. So, I've laid out what I can on the table. Once I've shown you this, I'll move this lot to a side and show you what else I got from Home Bargains. And then I've been in Aldi and got a few bits and in Hobbycraft as well to get a few bits for the birthday cake. I can't tell you how much all this costs at the top of my head at the moment because I can't find the receipt. But once I've found the receipt, if there's any items you want to know the prices of, just write a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to tell you how much they all cost, uh, how much the item costs. So I'm in the middle of baking a cake, so I better get this recorded quickly. So um, I'm not up all night baking cakes and recording. So let's show you what I've got, shall we? Boring stuff at the moment, household. I needed a couple more of these moisture traps. There's two 500 gram refills in there, I think. It says two, but it looks like one big one. I saw these on um, someone else's home bargains haul and they said they were absolutely fantastic. So I thought I'd give them a go because my house does suffer with a lot of damp. So I've got them. Two packets of bold and it's the pink blossom. 56 washes there. They have the new uh, Mrs. Hinch fragrances in Home Bargains. And I did love it. So I picked up the Febreze. And the Mrs. Hinch fragrance is pink tulip and white jasmine. And it is absolutely lovely. I know the Febreze, this one, is one ninety nine. I can't tell you how much the other stuff is off the top of my head. I got some more Lenore. Outdoorables in the Pink Blossom. I got the Mrs. Hinch Bold Gel. So that is the Pink Tulip and White Jasmine again. Steve picked up, move that out of the way, two Cherry Shower Foams to wash the car with. Sorry, not shower, snow foam. What am I on about? Really not with it today. Um... We have the Mrs. Hinch Febreze. Steve wanted some drain on blocker, so we've got the Plug Hole Fresh Clean and Dero Drises, Citrus Fresh, and then we've got the Extra Strong Plug Hole on Blocker Bathroom. Because obviously, having three girls in the family, the um, plug holes tend to get blocked up quite a lot, as well as the rag dolls where we bath them and the dog so that's them down here we've got the usual bog standard fairy i got the new surf passion bloom concentrated disinfectant this is to go in my carpet cleaner because i've got to clean the carpets i run the shampoo through there through the carpet cleaner and then i put a bit of this in the water as i'm rinsing it and it makes the carpet smell really really nice and fresh we picked up Nathan a new beaker. This is Newbie. It's just a grip sip. And although it says four to 12 months, Nathan is two and a half, but he really has sensory issues. And we are having trouble getting him off the bottle at night time with his milk. So we are going to just try that and see if that helps and whether he takes to it or not. Got some soothing... Sorry, smoothing cream, bikini and underarm hair remover. I got some Venus razors for Chloe. 
we've got some cake tins this is the eight inch spring form cake tin i've got two of them they're for making cakes obviously we have two packets of 10 striped paper plates these are for when we have company round and they all have a slice of birthday cake so i don't have to wash up save me running around washing up and that after everyone we've got Haley some socks for her birthday yes oh what fun she's gonna have it's just socks really but she needs them and she does love socks so two packets of them got nathan some socks because he's growing two of the elbow grease scrubbed pads scrubbing pads much cheaper than the minkies we have at the back we have some zoflora power bathroom cleaner and it is in the fragrance if i can see it well i'm guessing it's citrus because it's got grapefruits and limes on it and i thought i'd try that rather than the flash that i always use got some sellotape because we've got lots of presents to wrap up little swimmers because i have just booked a little holiday away um for my family we're going to be going away over the weekend of the coron coronation of the king so long weekend we're going to have some time away and obviously we'll be swimming so nathan needs some little swimmers some pegs now that the weather's getting better we can um start getting the washing out on the line rather than around the house i needed a new scrub daddy some more carpet cleaner for the carpet cleaning machine i got myself a new water bottle because my last one just broke and um, all the confetti that's in this went all over my bed and it's i'm still finding it everywhere now even though i've hoovered um so i got one for me i had chloe with me so she wanted one and she chose the like rose gold but it's more coppery they had these two colors and um silver so i liked the pink and then noodles we got these ones i thought would great for steve chili fire extreme noodles there is four in a pack and they were only 99p and then these were only 99p as well and there's six packets in there and they're the special chicken flavor so my kids like noodles a lot, so I thought I'd pick up two packets. That's all that lot. And then a new fragrance that is out in Home Bargains is this, you're having a giraffe. It's apricot and jungle papaya. And I opened it, had a sniff, and oh my God, it is lovely. Absolutely lovely. So I picked up two bottles of that and a bottle of shower gel for when I have my bath. Probably won't get a chance tonight because I've got a lot to do. Steve picked up this shaving oil for his beard or whatever because he doesn't completely shave it off. Nicer weather's coming so I thought I'd better start stocking up on the, on the sun cream. And my kids being how they are, they don't like having sun cream on. So I get the aerosol cans that come out clear and then it's easy. I don't have to touch the kids to rub it in. You just spray it and leave it. Nathan somehow put some right guard in the shopping trolley. Steve doesn't know how he done it, but he did. So there's that. <laughs> Two packets of kitchen foil. Four packets of the sweet and sour mug shots. Chloe loved these, so they'll be doing her for a couple of lunches. And then we're on to the mammoth pile of sweets. Okay, I know there is a lot here. There is a lot. But we have got a lot of guests coming for birthday get-togethers because I kind of do an open day on Haley's birthday and that. Not to mention I've got two big sweetie cakes to make. So we have an array of Skittles. So we have two packets of the normal crazy sour skittles then we have two packets of the giant sour skittles one packet of the tropical one of the wild berry and then one of the skittles with no shell they were all 99p each 
Then I found some jelly sharks that would look good on top of her sweetie cake. I saw these toxic wastes, hard sweets that I thought Shane would like because he likes this sort of stuff. We got the hazardous, hazardly sour candy and the nuclear fusion. They were 99p each. Then I got some um, pencil things to go around Haley's cake. Some strawberry laces to go on the cake. They were 99p each. And then back on to the Skittles. There's more of the red ones because that is what she wants her birthday cake to be. She wants a rainbow piñata skittle cake. So, oh my god, yes. Yeah. Six layers I've got to make tonight in different colours. And then I've got to hollow it out, put skittles in it, and then decorate it. So, I'm a, I'm, um, a glutton for punishment, really. But four packets of skittles of the original and then two packets of the original giant ones. Again, they were 99p. Four packets of Marowams. We've got the Marowam joysticks and then the Marowam strips. They are for Hayley to take in to school with her to give out to her friends in her class. Then we've got a big bag of pick a mix. This is to be the bulk of her sweetie cake. And then I might make up some, so I'm starting to shake now, some bags of sweets to hand out for her cousins and that when they come round. Steve put these in the trolley for me because he knows I don't eat crisps very often. And when I do want them, the flavours and the, the ones that I crave are always gone. So these are for Mama. We got the Discos, a sorted six pack cheese and onion, salt and vinegar and prawn cocktail. And then he picked me up, oh, there goes a balloon, a packet of pickled onion monster munch six pack. And then here, more sweets, we got for 159 these were, these tubs, of like Haribo sort of things. We got two of them, and then two packets of the pencils as well to go on the sweetie cake. And then at the back, we have some balloons, which you're probably not going to be able to see now because it's gone down right we got a heart which isn't very good but i'm not very happy because it's already going down i only got there a couple of hours ago but we got her a heart we got her the matching star and then we've got her two happy birthday ones let's try and turn it around so you can see there we go at home bargains if you didn't know if you buy the balloon they blow it up for you so the Ones that said happy birthday, I'm pretty sure they were $2.99. And then the other ones were $1.99. And then we buy, I do apologise for the glare, you're probably not going to see this very well. We got her a 1 and a 0 because she's going to be 10 tomorrow. So that is everything here. So I'm going to pause this video, take this lot off the table and then put the rest on and show you what else I bought. Okay, I'm back. So about 20 minutes later, because I've had to get another cake out of the oven, quickly make up another cake batter and put that in the oven. Lay all this lot out and make it look pretty. I decided to bung up the rest of the items that I got, which is Haley's birthday present from Smith's. So we've got Smith's, the rest of the Home Bargains haul, Hobbycraft, and a few things from Aldi as well. So this is what's left to show you. We have some wrapping paper at the back for Hayley's presents. It was 69p. This was the only girly one they had, but I needed some wrapping paper, so I got three lots. Hayley loves putting things in boxes and bags, and I thought this would be fantastic for her. 
Uh, she has a lot of knickknacks and she's a she's a magpie as we call her. If she likes to look at something, she will have it. But that is kind of her autism sort of thing as well. But it's got a lovely H on there for Haley. And then although it's got a latch, oh god. Ah! It actually can lock as well. And it does have a key. So somewhere safe for her to keep her little bits, but chances are her LOLs and stuff will end up in there. She's going to be 10, but she's not... Although she's 10, technically, she's mentally a bit younger. So she's not maturing like a normal 10-year-old would and going into makeup and beauty stuff and that. But she does sort of like it as well, but she can't be completely trusted. Because I find nail varnish everywhere, makeup swelled all over the mirrors and stuff like that so i thought these like kind of lol lip glosses which don't look too bad although they look bright they kind of shine a bit clearer um there's six in there there's the other colors as you can see so there's like a lilac pink blue red gold and silver glittery one and then it comes in a nice little bag that she'll probably end up keeping and putting knickknacks in some little body sprays they're only 99p but i thought trying to encourage her to be a bit more girly would be nice for her then i saw these thought she would absolutely love them for her belt for in the front room because we decorate the front room the day of their birthday so that when they come down there's balloons everywhere banners and then their presents are all ready for them this is a pack of four little balloons on sticks but you don't blow them up. Literally, you pop the little bit that's in there and it inflates itself. And then you just put it on a stick and you get four in there. And I thought she'd love them and so would Nathan. But I got her the pretty unicorn. They did have dinosaurs as well, but she's not really going to want that. Got her a little bottle of perfume. It's only a cheap little knick-knacky thing. I think it was like $1.99. But again, trying to encourage her to be a bit more girly and, you know, she, in time she does like to be like this. But then again, she does resort to being back to like the seven or eight year old that she mentally is. Some lip balms, but LOL again, because she's still into them. And then that comes with a nice little tin. So she will be filling that up with other stuff. <laughs> then, sadly, she has got to go to school on her birthday so she has got a lovely big badge to go on her school uniform so that everyone knows it's her birthday. She sees me and Chloe put face masks on all the time. So I saw these and I thought she'd absolutely love them. They're face sheet masks and one's a horse and one's a pig. There was loads of them, but I did just get her two and they were 69p or 89p each. But again, just little knickknacky bits. Some new banners to go up. They're just pink happy birthday ones. It's going to look like that. Because I do reuse my banners. But some of them are getting on a bit. So these will replace them and be put up in the front room. We have some cellophane sweetie cone things. There's ten in a bag. Hayley will be having a swimming pool party um, a couple of weeks time. And she's asked for like sort of like a goodie bag. She wants some sweetie cones to hand out to all her friends. So I've got four packets of them for when the time comes for that. Then we have, we'll move that out of the way. We have the birthday cards. We have one from me and Steve. And then I always get a card from each of the siblings to each other. So we've got that lovely sister one. Then we have that lovely sister one, which she'll probably laugh at. And then we have that one. They are all reasonably priced in home bargains. Then, again, something she'll absolutely love. Some happy birthday glasses. She'll probably want to take them to school with her to wear. She loves, loves bath bombs. So I got her this, like, unicorn fairy cake one. And then something that's new in home bargains that I've never seen before. It's a balloon garland. So you get 25 balloons in there and then they attach as you can see and you drape them around. 
I don't know how well that is going to turn out, but I'm going to give that to Steve to um, crack on and do once I finish recording this. But that will be fun in the bed in the bedroom. No, in the front room. And then something that's not for Haley. I've got these lovely Tasmanian pajamas for Nathan because he's growing now. He needs some new pajamas, so I thought that'd be fantastic. They're long sleeve bottoms, but short sleeved on the arms. Haley is into her Lego still. She does like building things, so I got her a couple of like cheaper version of Lego, but they still all match up. So I got her the base plates in red and yellow. And then the last thing from Home Bargains is this Builder Block storage organizer, which again I thought is absolutely great for Haley because it's a bit broke. I've got to sell it, tape it back together. <clears throat> she can organize her Lego in there, even though she's got tons more and it won't all fit in this. But this is ideal for when she wants to take some Lego out and about with us. If we're going out for the day, she can take some. And then because we're going on holiday, she can pack some in there and take it as well. And then as you can see, there's like a base plate on top of that. So that is everything from Home Bargains. And now I'll move on to what I got her from Smith's for her birthday. Now, this isn't everything she's got. We have bought her a zookeeper for the day experience at our local zoo which is the main present for her because she's so hard to buy for because it is repetitive stuff with her. It's like LOLs and these live pets. She's got tons of them. But being Hayley as she is, she likes to stick with what she likes and what she knows. So we thought an experience at the zoo would be fantastic for her and it's making memories and she loves animals. So that is her main present and then these are just little bits for her to open on the day. So as you can see we have the little live pet fish. This can go in the pool, in the bath or what is further up is a little fish tank that she can have in her bedroom. And they literally start swimming as soon as they hit the water which she likes. She's got a little live pet turtle which she's already got one like this and she loves having it in the bath with her. And then we have some LOLs. The reason there is a few more than I would normally get is because these were on offer. They had like three or four pounds off of each type here. So that's why I got them. But she's got the mini sweet surprise omatic. Then she has just two of these mini sweet balls. Two of the sunshine makeover balls of those LOLs. Then she has this one, which she's never really had. It's a con uh, confetti pop birthday sisters, so she'll love that one because it's birthday as well. She loves these squish squishfills or whatever. She loves all the big ones, and she's got one. And then she's asked for another one, so we got it. But when I went into Smith's today to get the one she wanted, it had sold out. So it was this one exactly, but um, it's a much bigger version, and I couldn't get it. So if she gets any birthday money, chance are she'll try and find this one. But I saw it in this little set. It was $16.99, which is quite expensive, but she loves them. Let's get the glare off of there. There we go. Oh, God, let's pick it up. Ah, nails. Can't get it. There we go. Right. In here, you have six. So you can see five of them. But behind the egg in the middle is a special one, a surprise. So that would be nice for her. And then this is what I was telling you. It's a plastic fish tank and it comes automatically with a fish. And then you put the fish in there with water and the fish just swims around like a real pet. That makes sense. <laughs> that was on offer as well. That was normally £20, but it's gone down to 9 99 So, which is great. And then the last thing we got from Smith's is this little T.Y. Otter. Because what we're going to do is we're going to wrap him up with an envelope. And in the envelope is going to be the paperwork and the certificate saying that she's going to be a zookeeper for the day. And um, one of the animals she's going to be able to interact with is otters. So we thought that would be a lovely way to remind her, show her. And so she's actually got something to see for her big experience on the day of her birthday. 
if that makes sense. But there was this, there was a wallaby, and then there was a fox as well. But we thought the little otter was cute with his little tail, and she would love that. So that's them. And then at the back is an octopus squ uh, squishy thing that she likes. This is what Chloe thinks she'd like as a replacement for the fish with legs <laughs> that I couldn't get her. So there's that. That is all her birthday bits. Okay, it doesn't look a lot, but trust me, it was. And then with the zookeeper experience, it pushes the birthday gifts right up. And then for the rest of it is Hobbycraft and Aldi. Hobbycraft, I went over because they had, well, we mainly went over because we went out for dinner for Haley's birthday. She wanted to go to Toby Carvery, so it was close to Hobbycraft. And they actually had their Betty Crocker stuff on offer. Three items for six pounds, which is a lot better than what you can get in any supermarket at the moment. The cheapest I see this stuff is like two fifty, and I do not have the time to make cakes from scratch at the moment, or the back strength to stand up in the kitchen for ages. So I just literally went in and bought six of the Betty Crocker vanilla cake mixes. As you can see, I'm already making them, and then six of the butter creams. Doesn't mean I'm going to use all this buttercream, but I got it seen, seen as it was on offer anyway. And then I got food colourings down there because she wants a layer for every colour of the Skittles. So we've got red, I've already got orange, I've already got green, and then you've got yellow, blue, purple and pink. So each one of these cakes is going to be turned into one of these colours, which is going to be great. Lots of food colouring. I got some bamboo dowel rods because she wanted me to try and make one of those anti-gravity skittles cakes. Can't guarantee it's going to go to plan, but I got them so that I could try and please her. But if I can't, she'll understand. I got an icing smoother so that I can get nice smooth edges of the cake because I haven't got nothing like this before. I got some fizzy rainbow belts to go around the outside of the cake from Aldi because it was cheaper to buy them from there than anywhere else. They were 42p a packet. Picked up Nathan two pints of raspberries because they were 30p at 30% 30 off. I got five packets of these bubblegum and raspberry mushrooms to go on the outside of the sweetie cake with the fizzies. And then, although I said that we are getting Nathan off of his bottles, or trying to, he still does need them. So I picked up two more of the Tommy Tippy Closer to Nature Teats for the Tommy Tippy bottles. Because some of them are getting old, worn and torn. So I just picked up two of them. So, that's from Aldi. That lot there is from Hobbycraft. All of this here is from Smith's and then all the rest of this is from Home Bargains, <laughs> I had to think then. So that is the end of my haul. There is a lot and I know this is a very long video and I do apologise but I thought you guys might want to see what I actually got. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up so I know you do like what I've done. If you are new here and like shopping hauls subscribe Hit that notification bell so that YouTube tells you every time I upload a new video. And then there is a load of shopping hauls already on my channel. And there will be loads more to come shortly. So subscribe, don't forget to. And then share if you know anyone that will enjoy my videos. So take care. I've got to go back in the kitchen and bake another cake. And I hope to see you again in my next haul. Bye guys.